Hey guys, my name is Jump Slugs and welcome back to more Let's Play Legends of the Ocarina of Time. Last time we came to the. I'm sorry, I thought I saw something really weird just happen with Link for a second, but last time we came to the Shadow Temple, which is uh, a temple related to evil uh, monsters, reed deads, Catella, a bunch of different types of dark. Uh, creepy enemies. Now, going in this room, you have this this nice thing spinning in circles with, uh, what do they call it again? Reapers? Spinning in circles with giant blades, ready to cut our throat open. Now, over here, it's a little trap down here. You don't have to go down there, there's really no reason to, but I guess I'll show you what's down here. Uh, down here, there's like a uh, room, it's kind of like a little fence. You can't really do anything in here, so... But there's a scatella token above your head, head, and we can't get, we can't reach that. I don't know what it is with me not being able to talk properly. But anyways, let's go up. Wait, did those rubies reset? I think they, yeah, I think they probably did. So let's go ahead and recollect these uh, rubies. So, let's see here. We gotta get our hook shot out. Try not to get hit now. If you want to avoid getting hit by these things, you can just press R to duck. What the heck? Oh, they move slower. Like they move fast, and then a little slower, and then fast. I was like wondering, like, why did it decide to go slow, slower at that point? Okay. Go ahead and grab the last one now. Two gates opened up, I believe, or is it just one gate that opens up? One of them. Okay, we don't have the compass yet, which would be nice, but there should be a small key here. Yep, small key. Don't want to miss out on those. Very important that we get them. Um, anything else that we can do here? Uh, there is a gate over here. Is there anything over here? No. Okay, no, just a small key. Good enough. It's very important that we get as many small keys as we can. I always say that. I cannot stress it enough how important it is to get as many small keys as you can. Okay, next room we have... Gizmos, awesome. Gonna need a spin attack to kill him. Now, I believe that's the compass, awesome. Compass is gonna be really nice to have. Okay. And we got the compass, nice. Now, let's go ahead and go through the center one. Now, one of these needs to be bombed. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one needs to be bombed. So let's get our bombs out. Oh, Link. Link, what are you doing? Why doesn't Link ever use the bomb correctly? Okay, so we need a small key to unlock this door. Okay, now, be very careful when you're going through this room. There's a weird glitch that can happen, that happened to me when I was younger. There's gonna be scatellas that come out the wall. Now, if you somehow, if you somehow manage to get stuck between the scatella and this wall, the scatella will actually um, make it so that you like get glitched into the wall and you can't get out because it keeps hitting you. So every time you get up, he hits you and you like get stuck. Yeah, I remember it happened to me like a long time ago when I was playing this game. It was like so annoying that I had to redo everything because I got stuck <laughs> behind the teller. Let's go ahead and put our hover boots on. Now the hover boots are the uh, the dungeon item of this dungeon. So I just wanted to let you know that that was the dungeon item for this guy. The bow makes it so easy to kill him. Alright, there's one more I believe. Uh, watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Thank you, Nav. Thank you for telling me. Okay, now this is a big open room full of traps and blades and... Okay, I'll see you guys in one moment. Now I have to go all the way back. Okay, now I'm back in the main room where I got knocked off by the blades. You want to be careful with that. That will happen to you a lot. So... Oh. Double, double, out. Ow, I just want to get through. 
I'm gonna get to do now. Here we have big stoffles here. Enemy, these enemies are very easy to kill with the big line sword. So don't even worry about it. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now over there, there's a room over there. You can see that there's apparently platforms, but you can only see them when you have a lens of truth on it. Let's go inside here. <clears throat> okay. Now what's in this room? Alright, now this room has this thing spinning in circles only now you can't actually see it. So you're gonna have to have the lens of truth to see that, uh, to see those blades. Now in this room we need to kill all the keys, so let's see where are the keys at? The keys are there. You have to kill all the keys to unlock the gate. Come on. Come on, Link. Okay. Oh, what the heck? I thought that like like was behind that fence. Die, like. Die! Alright, got it. Now you can defend with the big long sword, but it doesn't really do anything. Like, I don't know. It doesn't really help you. Where's the other keys? There's some keys over there. Come on. Die. Okay. That should be it. Yep. Okay, so you kill all the keys and you can go to the door over there. Now there's three chests in here. Oh no, there's two. Oh, never mind. I thought there was only three. First we have the bundle of arrows, and then we have the small key. Or rubies. Okay, I thought it would be a small key, but I guess not. Uh, here we got a scatella. Go ahead and get this guy. Die. Right. Awesome. And I think that's pretty much it for this. Yep, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, I will see you... Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> No reason for me to cut. All right, whatever. Let's go back to the main room. So in that room, I can't believe all we got was a compass. Now we need. <laughs> what am I talking about? All we got was a scatella token. All right. I'm trying to see. Oh wow, there's a lot of chests in the B4 area. Wow. All right. Let's go ahead and make our way back. Now going back, there's that stall that's chilling here. Kill him. Come on. Die. Die. Okay. Now, we have this platform that keeps going up and down now. What you want to do is you want to land down on it. Now we're going to need to take bombs out. That's what we need to get this bomb. Bombs, 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 bombs. Nope. Okay. Uh, there's a, the, a beam out here. Underneath this beam out is a ruby. We gotta go ahead and collect all the rubies again. I keep getting hit by spikes. Where's the last one? Last one's over there. And that unlocks that door. <clears throat> so in this next room, there should be a small key that we need to. Should be a small key here. Oh, yep, okay. Now, let's see, what's this say? Only one with the Eye of Truth will find the stone umbrella that protects against the rain of blades. Okay. There is a block here that's hidden. You can go ahead and pull this block out. And you can use this block to get past the uh, blades that keep falling down. Okay. Should be a Scatella in here? No. Nope. Uh, this and the other. Um, Okay, anyways, go ahead and just push the block forward. Come on. Yeah, just be careful. Make sure you don't get hit by the spikes, because if you get hit, that will suck. Just be careful. Just want to make it so that, um... Is it both? Yeah? Alright, so we're safe. So we can go over here. There's... Hello. So I'll show you. Get my reward. Awesome. Okay, now. What else do we got? There's a chest in here. Probably contains some arrows or something. Arrows or bombs. Arrows. Okay. Now let's grab the block and start pulling it from over here. Whoa. 
once you pull the block all the way back over here, the blade should come down. Yeah. Okay. But you're able to uh, climb on top of them. Like this. Okay, so you climb on top. And there's a chest over here. And we got a blue ruby. Awesome. Okay. Uh, step and switch. Now this chest should contain the freaking key that we're looking for. We're looking for a small key. Come on. Alright, so there we go. We got the small key. Yep, the small key. Let's go back to the main room once again. Okay, now, watch out for the blades. Yeah, over there, there's a locked door to the invisible platform. So we have to make our way across this and try to be careful not to get hit by the blades. Last time I got hit, I got hit down. Okay. Uh, should be able to make it over there. Okay. Like, look, Link, stop pulling out bombs. He always does that. Alright. And here we have some re-deads. Uh, there's like some spikes here. You can actually float on top of the spikes with your cover boots, which is pretty cool. Alright, you. Alright, let's get the uh, ruby. I like that there's re-deads in this dungeon because re-deads give you magic when you kill them. So it's a good way of getting your magic back. And for killing the re-deads, a chest spawns. Hopefully that contains a uh, small key. Nope, just another blue rupee that we don't need. Alright, let's get this rupee up here. Okay. Uh, can we get up there? Yep. And... Oh, no, I missed. There should be a... Uh, Yep, there is, okay. Should be a little target up there that you can shoot yourself up to. Now, that should unlock the door over there. Okay. Now, we're gonna be seeing this room, this kind of room, a lot. In these kind of rooms, there's like a skeleton head thing in the middle, and you have to like throw a bomb in it to blow it up. So we're probably gonna see this like three times, just so you know. Gonna kill you and get another skeleton token. Now, there is a total of five Scatella tokens in this dungeon. Oh, there's a total of five of those. Throw that in there. And out comes a small key. Nice. Let's grab it, Link. Let's grab it. Alright, watch out for the keys. No keys. Okay. Oh, wait, do I have to. Oh, do I have to kill the keys? Let's die, okay. I'm gonna have to kill these keys. Hold on, give me a second. I didn't know I had to kill the um the actual enemies in this room. Can I shoot the keys from over here? Probably not because my controls are not gonna work the way I want them to. Um the other one link please okay there we go that should work all right so with this small key in hand we'll be able to unlock that door up there um see if i can use the hook shot right there okay continuing on now is this the what room is this uh, this is the room where you need to use, yeah, iron boots. So this is actually a spot where you need to use the iron boots. Because there's going to be like a current of wind, and the wind will be able to push you if you have an iron boots on. So, pretty cool. Watch out for that hole there. Shoot him. Um, go ahead and hook shot over there. Hook shot. You can hover boots or hook shot, up to you. We're going to hook shot. And drop that. Okay. Now, in this next room, there's more currents. Just watch out for them. Uh, there's a little entryway over there, so you can go that way. But is there is it locked or something? No. Ow! Watch out for the fire. Ow! Uh, over here, though, there is 
because they're small. Why do they keep putting me in tight rooms with re -dead? They just like want me to suffer. Anyways, for doing that, there is a chest. Now, I don't think this chest is actually important. Oh god, I'm on time. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off here, guys. So next time, let's play Legends of the Ocarina of Time. We're gonna continue on with the Shadow Temple. See you guys then.